In the last video we saw how a faster than light object will look like. In this video we see how jumping into and from superluminal speeds look like. First, this is how objects jumping up to 80% the speed of light will look like. The rockets all accelerate simultaneously, but the information reaches us at different times, therefore the whole formation looks like a paraboloid. Next, the same jump, but up to 110% the speed of light. These superluminal rockets will appear out of nowhere. This is because the rockets will outrun the light sent out by them. Now, the same jump, but up to 180% the speed of light. Notice how the reversed images annihilate the last images sent out by the rocket just before jumping into the superluminal speeds. Next up, jumping out of superluminal speeds. First, for reference, this is a deceleration from 80% the speed of light. Again, the formation of the rockets is a flat disk. It looks curved only because of the time delay. We receive information from the rim later than from the center of the disk. Now then, this is how the same rockets jumping out of 110% hyperdrive would look like. Here the reversed images have nothing to annihilate, so to speak, so they just keep receding into the distance, rewinding the rocket's history in reverse. Now the same jump, but focusing on the side view. I might note that the fins of the rockets are not actually bending, they just look like that, again because of the information delay. Finally, the same maneuver, but this time out of 180% the speed of light. Notice how the reverse images seem to travel more slowly this time. In general, the faster the superluminal speed, the slower the reversed images are receding. They will, by the way, always seem to move faster than the speed of light.